fact that I was raped, I never could have imagined that a greater injustice awaited me than the one that I had already been forced to endure. In the course of pursuing my own case, I ran into roadblock after roadblock. And so I charted a new path. I rewrote the law. No one is powerless when we come together and no one is invisible when we demand to be seen. When Amanda Wynn decided to take up the fight for the rights of sexual assault victims and survivors, she had to shelve her longtime dream of becoming an astronaut. Now, after successfully passing federal legislation in the Sexual Assault Survivors' Rights Act, convincing the United Nations to adopt a historic landmark resolution aimed at combating sexual assault and providing access to justice for victims of such abuse across the globe, founding a nonprofit called RISE, and receiving a Nobel Peace Prize nomination, her astronaut dreams are becoming a reality. Thanks to Space for Humanity, she is set to become the first Vietnamese woman to fly in space. Joining me now is my dear friend, Amanda Wynn, the founder of Rise and a 2022 Time Woman of the Year. Amanda, I don't know if I'm gonna get through this without crying, but we're gonna try my damnedest to do it. You are going to be the first Vietnamese woman to fly in space. Just, what does that mean to you after everything? Oh my gosh, I'm, uh, I'm just so grateful. It's been such a week. Um, just hearing and listening to the messages come in. Honestly, you know, it comes from my heritage. That's what this means to me. My parents are refugees. My mom is a boat refugee from Vietnam. And um, we came on boats and now we're on spaceships. What's important to me is bringing my community with me. So I know that I might be the first, but I definitely want to make sure that I'm not the last. You actually originally interned at NASA back in 2013. You've been training for years to become an astronaut. For those of you that are tuning in right now, it is not easy to actually train to go to space. Does this feel like it's kind of become a full circle moment for you? I mean, like I said in the intro, you had to shelve this amazing dream that a lot of people never achieve to be able to fight for the rights of others, including yourselves, but to make sure that the world is a safer place before you went on into the outer world. Yeah, and I want people to know, whether it be survivors or people who might not see themselves represented, that your dreams absolutely matter. You know, and just in general, people will only take your childhood dreams as seriously as you take them. A lot of people can feel like life gets in the way, and I know what that feels like. But to anyone who is having a hard time, and especially to the survivors that are listening, I just want you to know that you can absolutely heal. Now that person who was hurt, that person before you became hurt, that person still matters and their dreams can come true. Amanda, you're partnering with Space for Humanity and Space for Humanity is dedicated to democratizing space, making it accessible to everyone. Why do you think that democratizing space is such an important goal? You know, when I look up to the stars and I see all those lights, it's taken so long, millions of years for that photon to reach our eye. And I feel so special, right? Because yes, at one point, um, it makes me feel small. But on the other hand, it makes me feel so special that we have this ability in the blink of the eye of the universe to love, to recognize who we are, to fight for what we believe in. And Space for Humanity's mission is, again, to democratize space. It's about making sure that people have access to what's called the overview effect. Um, it's a psychological experience that a lot of astronauts have when they see Earth for the first time. Essentially, um, they leave Earth as technical people, but return to Earth as activists. And so I'm just so grateful for this platform and to be able to pave the way for so many more people to experience this as well. Amanda, I want to end with kind of going back to the beginning. You mentioned it a few minutes ago, your family and the legacy of your family. In the video where you announced your journey to space, you mentioned that your family, your parents, right, as boat refugees from Vietnam, they look to the stars to guide their way to freedom. This is where I'm going to get choked up. <laughs> you, you, are, you are a role model for me for my daughter, for others, not just in the AAPI community, but in others. You carry so much, though, at a young age. You've, you've done so much for others with, selflessly. Um, 
some people might say to have to go through sexual assault to survive it, that, that there's a shame that comes with it, but you've, you've battled against those stigmas and you've brought justice, accountability, and, and power back to victims and survivors of sexual assault. Now you're being kind of taking over the mantle of now being the first Vietnamese woman in space. How does it feel to constantly have these firsts that you are accomplishing and, and successfully dealing with? And, and does that kind of make you inspired to do more? Because you've, the sky's the limit, literally, for you. You know, you're definitely going to make me cry because, you know, my mom crossed the ocean so that I can touch the sky. And I just want everyone to know that it's just about being authentic. You know, I didn't strive to be first. These are just things that I genuinely love. And there's this thing that I think a lot of society uh, perhaps gaslights people into hiding their ambitions or their dreams, especially young women, where they say, oh, it's so cringy to have these ambitions. But let me tell you right now that every successful person has had to climb Cringe Mountain. And when you are successful, all those people who thought you were cringy are now saying, oh, you know, like you're an inspiration. And so I just want to say to everyone, no matter who you are, where you are from, that you matter, your dreams matter, and just, just go for it because you never know where that's gonna take you. Just really follow where your gut and your heart are pointing. And I'm just so grateful again to people like you, Katie. You know, there's so many people who look to you um, and see themselves in you. I just, I certainly do. And so I just wanna thank you and just everyone who's helped me get to this point. And I, it just, it's an honor to be able to um, be here. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.